I then asked it, what introduces volatility into NVIDIA's P&L? And what came out was pretty damn impressive. Could I launch coverage on NVIDIA with no analyst? I could show you, I could publish a report saying, hey, buy side analyst who wants to know what I think of NVIDIA. Here's what I typed into Grok, or here's what I typed in ChatGPT 03 deep research. I said, you know, I think it um, will grow 50 this year, 25 next year, 5% above GDP into perpetuity, uh, margins oscillate between here and here, taxes this, what are they earning in 2030? Here's, the, here's all my data on EV to grow GP and EV to forecast the sales for every tech company. What do you think this thing should trade at fair value in 2030? It gives you an answer. And you know what? I then asked it, what introduces volatility into NVIDIA's P&L? And what came out was pretty damn impressive. I used to be, a, as you know, I used to be a fundamental semiconductor, semiconductor for a small time. I was like, pretty good. It had like a whole list of things. And we published this actually. And it was kind of like, they all made sense. Like it could be China tail risk, both from demand and supply. It could be, you know, Taiwan semi. I, there was a whole list of things that all made logical sense. And I thought maybe I can I can do what 900 analysts at, at Morgan Stanley do with, with, with I can maybe do what 400 of them do for, for, for free.